Today we are having our favorite, which is the deep fried seafood boil. I'm so excited, I'm so hungry. We got the QDQ sauce here. It is extra spicy because I've been feeling spicy lately, you guys. We have the sweet and sour sauce here in the back. We have lemon in the front, water here. We have prawn shrimp, you guys. And we have king crab, giant king crab legs. I am ready to dig in, you guys. I don't know if we're gonna be doing a lot of talking today because I'm ready to just dig in, okay? I am ready. No games, okay? No games. And I need my lemon. You guys gotta try it with the lemon. Try your, your fried seafood with the lemon. It just sets it off. It does something else to the food. It just does something else to it. It really does. I am so excited. Here we go. <laughs> Y'all, I'm gonna be so extra today. I have not had this in a while. Mmm. Don't look at me like that. Don't look at me like that. I did not mean for that to do that. You do not got to look at me like that. Hmm. Did I get it? You guys. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> so good mm. that was a king crab leg it's just some sweet and sour sauce Oh my gosh. That is incredible. Oh. Um, speaking of incredible, my baby Jay Blast always says incredible. And now he got me saying incredible. I want to give a shout out to my baby. To my baby, Jay Blast. You guys, Jay Blast is amazing. Make sure you guys go subscribe to his channel. He's the one who did my intro, you guys. My intro is bomb. I saw y'all's comments. Y'all like the intro. Thank you so much. Jay Blast is the one that did it. And he's been doing my thumbnails, you guys. A lot of y'all are new, or y'all are like new YouTubers. Just starting out, need help with that type of stuff. Go over there to Jay Blast. See if he can help you, you guys. Mmm. Shout out to my baby. I love him so much. He is so sweet to me. I'm so happy I met him. But this right here, this is incredible. It is so good, you guys. Deep fried seafood is way better than a boil. Way better, in my opinion. Mm. 
Mmm. Mmm. That is so good. Mmm. Mm. You gotta get You gotta have a good batter Do y'all know how to make tartar sauce? I know I can easily just look it up but I didn't get a chance to do that. But I wanted to make tartar sauce with this to see if I liked it. To see what sauce I like best. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, 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 mm. Y'all, when I was frying this, When I was frying this, one of my shrimp fell on the floor when I was taking it out. I was like, uh-uh, I picked it right up. I ate it. I sure did. <laughs> Mm-mm. I am not wasting my stuff. Mm-mm. Would y'all just throw it away? Or would y'all have to eat it? Mm -mm, I'm eating my stuff. Five second rule. Mmm. You know, it's so crunchy and crispy. It's tearing the roof of my mouth up. Mmm. 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 It's so crunchy. <laughs> mm. If you guys are interested in my makeup, head on over to my beauty channel, Official Cute Beauty. If you guys want to see how I did this look, head on over. Mmm. Mmm. Y'all. Mmm. I remember when I was younger. We used to walk up to this Chinese store. You know, you know the hood Chinese store. We used to walk up there to the Chinese store, me and my mom. We would get like five crab sticks and then fry it and it's like the crab stick and we, get, we would get french fries. That was imitation crab. You know that whole time we was thinking that that was real crab? That was imitation crab. Well, it, they use imitation crab. 
Uh, oh, excuse me. They use imitation crap. And then, when you eat this, the real thing, it's like, oh wow. They even put the imitation crab in sushi. I don't think I've ever been to a sushi restaurant where they had real crabs, real crab meat. They always use imitation. I wonder what that imitation meat is. What is that? It don't taste like crab in my opinion. It's like stringy. Well, the crab sticks we was getting, they had, it was like strings. Like thick strings. And they fry it up. And it looks, they even got the color down pat. They even put like the red color in it. That's kind of scary what they can do with food. That's going to make me want to Google what that is when I get off him. I want to know what that is now. Mm. Yeah, so next time I do not want to do a deep fry without white sauce next time. I got to make sure I get white sauce next time. Like a tartar sauce or some type of sauce. I don't know. Mm. This shrimp is so good. They are just so good. All shrimp does not taste the same, you guys. I don't know what kind of shrimp these are. I get these shrimp from Costco. I don't know where they get their shrimp from. But it's really, really good. Because I've had some shrimp. It was fresh. I didn't have a fishy taste, fishy smell, nothing like that. But it just don't taste the same. It's just like a different taste. I don't know. I guess it's the type of fit. It's the type of shrimp you get. I don't know. Like these, wherever they get these from, they always taste good. They taste good fried. They taste good in a boil. They taste good sauteed. They taste good anyway. It's just the type of shrimp this is. Mmm, y'all. Y'all, y'all, y'all. Trying to tell you. This stuff be so good. With technology and the way things are going, I know they're going to create something where y'all can taste this or, or at least smell it. I know they're working on it. I know they're working on it. It's just crazy, like, when I think about technology sometimes, I just think about, like, like, oh my gosh, like, it's progressing so quickly. Technology is progressing so quickly, and it's almost scary because it's like, it's creating a world where we don't talk to each other. It's creating a world where we're in like this virtual reality. Like, it's just amazing to me that, so, excuse me, I'm sitting here in my house right now and in a couple hours, 
or whenever you're going to be able to see me like you're going to be able to see me like you've never met me you've never met me before you you don't know what i smell like you don't i actually smell really good right now <laughs> i smell like baccarat right now oh my god you guys that perfume is incredible i talked about it on my on my beauty channel one thing about me is like i'm really 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 big on perfume i'm really big on smelling good i think every woman should smell good have smell good and have a signature scent that she wears and um i'm wearing baccarat and it smells so good a man can wear it a woman can wear it it's pretty expensive but it's worth every penny in my opinion it's last long you know all that stuff but yeah, I definitely think that every woman should have a signature scent. It don't gotta be like all expensive or anything like that. I think men should have a signature scent too. Like, wear some cologne, honey. Women love cologne, okay? Just as much as men love perfume, women love cologne. I love a man that smells good. Walk in the room. I like the type of scents that I like on a female or a male is scents that have projection like i want to be able to walk into a room and when i walk past somebody they smell it and my scent is still in there you can still smell it i love that oh my gosh when a man just walks by yeah. ooh. yo that's one of my things a guy that smells good i love a guy that smells good it has a cologne collection like it don't gotta be like all crazy or nothing like that but just you know have a couple of colognes or whatever that he wear or whatever yes love it how did we even get on colognes and perfumes i don't know you guys i love y'all so much i thank you guys so much for hanging out with me um I was able to get a lot done today. It felt amazing that I was able to get accomplished so much today. Uh, it just feels really, really good. I'm just, uh, I'm just so thankful for everything that I have, you guys. Um, I want you guys to always wake up, no matter how the day looks, no matter how sad you are, no matter what's going on, no matter who did what, no matter who said what, I want you to always get up and just have an attitude of gratitude. If you can't do nothing else, if you can't do nothing else, have an attitude of gratitude. Be thankful for everything you have. Be thankful for your car. Be thankful for your house. Be thankful for your spouse. Be thankful for your children, your pets. Be thankful for your body, your eyes, your hair, your everything. And it may sound ridiculous to be thankful for all that stuff, but it's the truth. Like, somebody doesn't have it. Somebody, what we are taking for granted, somebody doesn't have it. You're complaining about your car, somebody is walking. You're mad that something happened and somebody just lost their loved one. This is what we got to think about, you guys. We got to have an attitude of gratitude. Be thankful for everything that you have. And that is how I start my day. When I'm in the shower, I'm thanking God for everything that I have. I'm just going down the list. Thank you for this, 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 and this. Thank you for this, 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 and this. Because it's so easy to get yourself caught up in your negative thinking, you know, your anxiety or your whatever. It is so easy to get caught up in that. It is so easy to look at the news. It is so easy to 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 have empathy for somebody else that you're looking at is oh my goodness they're down on their luck it's easy to have empathy it's easy for some people to have empathy and 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 go in on in those places and and, and sometimes you know you're left drained you're left drained you're left feeling empty you have to make sure that you are pouring into yourself being thankful and pouring into yourself pour into yourself you guys some of you guys are constantly pouring into other people you're pouring into your kids and that's great you're pouring into your husband you're pouring into your marriage you're pouring into your job you're putting so much time and energy into everything else and you totally forget about yourself when's the last time you got your nails done 
When's the last time you got your hair cut? When's the last time you've done something nice for yourself? When is the last time? It is time for you to start taking care of yourself. It is time for you to start being thankful, have an attitude of gratitude. And I'm not telling you, I'm talking to myself as well. I'm talking to myself as well because it can always be worse, you guys. Life can always be worse. And somebody said to me, if you can't control it, don't worry about it. And I was like, well, that's easier said than done. But it's the truth. Like, if you can't, if you can't control something, think about it. We can't control really anything. There's really nothing that we can control. So if we can't control anything, why obsess and and put yourself in such this such why why obsess and why constantly beat yourself up over and over and over and over again by something that you cannot control you can't control that she doesn't like you you can't control that you know the job doesn't want to hire you you can't control that the car broke down you cannot control any of that you cannot control that but what you can control is your attitude what you can control is is the way you think you can control that I love you guys so much. Have an attitude of gratitude. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye. Mm.